Wait, let me get my little glasses popping. You know, but we, but we, but we go on Facebook Live now, so <laughs> well, we gonna go live. We gonna go live. We just don't want to be dry for y'all Facebook. You know, uh-huh. ain't nothing worse than a chap lip. Listen, Girl. and no, it's it ain't nothing worse than somebody don't tell you. Like you see me over here talking to all these people. You go, I thought we was friends. You know what? Nah, nah, nah. Y'all better let me know because you know you get to talking and your lip gloss get the white stuff. Don't don't right. let that be. Don't don't do don't, that. Don't, don't, don't. Don't. We better than that. Hello, I thought we was friends. Everybody. <laughs> 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 welcome, welcome, welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Come on in, have a seat. <laughs> Welcome to Live You Nonprofit, our brunch and munch. We do this every single Saturday, with the exception of holidays, we take off. So um, we are here to help women struggling with prioritizing themselves uh, practice self-care every day. And so as such, my name is Ciara Wimby and I am the CEO and founder of Live You. And I am also the physical wellness self-care coach. And uh, ladies, introduce yourselves. It is me, the one with the cootie free kisses. <laughs> Cicely Beckham. I am the mental wellness coach. Woo, woo. Hello, everyone. I am Stephanie and I am the spiritual wellness coach. Woo woo! Mm-hmm. All righty, and and uh, I see we have somebody out there watching us. Hey, person watching us, say hello, <laughs> hey, friend. Welcome hey, friend. to our room. Say hello. Come on through. So today we're talking about defining the source of your stress and getting to the root cause of it. Mm. <laughs> Mysterious. So, you know, people are always saying, I'm stressed out, I'm stressed out, oh my God, it's so much, it's so much, but it's like, well, what is so much? What is it? What does that, what does so much really mean? And what does the word stress really mean? Like, what is it and what does it look like? Because we, we have these words for things and they're blanket words, but they don't really describe exactly what we're going through but they're Mm -hmm. just there and we say them and then when people like well can you explain more define more let me know what else is going on okay me hey it's me hey it's me it's mia mia is in the building hey mia (laughs) i love how it's me (laughs) you know oh love it So how do we do that? How do we start being more clear on what our stress is and where is it really coming from? Because are you really stressed out about the person that just jumped in front of you while you were driving? Are you really stressed out about the fact that you on your last tardy at work and you were trying to get to work on time again? And if you don't get there on time, you're going to get fired. You know, like, what really is going on here? That makes me laugh when you talk about tardy. I'm the one that's tardy, but then come in with food. And yeah. then, like, I mean, I was late already. I shouldn't be late and hungry. <laughs> I love when people, I've seen that at work too, when they come in with, but I, but I came with donuts or, um, you know, people say, hey, I, so this happened, was it yesterday? Someone was saying, that they was tardy to coming in the house and so they called home and offered food. That (laughs) that will always win. (laughs) Oh, but bless you. Oh, but um, if you want me to come right there right now and not go get this food, then you just let me know. Oh, no, 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 bring the food. So that always, you know, tricks people. (laughs) The peace, that's my peace offering because I knew I was on bullshit, you know? That's what, yep. that's what that's like. I know it was me. Yeah. <laughs> but getting back to the, the question, I know, I'm sorry, I'll side by the shit out of y'all. I know it. It's me. <laughs> but going back <laughs> to what is, how do you identify stress or stressors, right? Um, yeah. I know one of the things that I practice and I try to help others practice is to use your, look, use your words, right? Because 
that's it's almost I put stress in the same box as anxiety because that's usually like oh my god it gave me anxiety was it really right, anxiety right, or was that's you... a big word again like what yeah. did it break right, down to? right yeah like what, was it really anxiety or were you frustrated or was it or or were you just upset like use other words what's other and I think that we struggle with that because our emotional vo- vocabulary is limited Ooh, mm-hmm. the emotional mm. vocabulary on it. limited <laughs> <laughs> that was like go to church Girl. now. Woo! Because, you know what? I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add to that. I'm gonna add to that and say that also we are also taking words from what somebody else says is going on with them, and they not they may not even be using the correct terminology to define what is really going on with them. And you mm-hmm. just feel that you know what? It's I'm feeling the same way that this person felt. So it has to be anxiety. It has to be. X, Y, and Z, or whatever else you're gonna call. So I'm gonna add to that. But yeah, girl, speak on it. That's so funny. <laughs> but no, that's <laughs> definitely the truth, though. But you also think about it, like the way we learn how to cope with things is a learned behavior. We see how our loved ones cope with the person who we really rock with, how they coping with things. So if they said it was that, that's that's what they said it was. That's what it is. That was oh, that was stress. Not oh wait. My blood pressure high because I ate a whole bunch of salt because my diet's stressed. Because I was eating all of that barbecue that was tasting so good to me. And, and I was from the like, seasonings from care. the gods. I don't care. Right. Shoot, I'm going to have it anyway. So what? And then you go to the doctor and you're sick and you're like, oh, man. Oh, man. And, and that stressed me out, right? So now, right. so now I'm really stressed because I did something that I wasn't supposed to do. And so, yeah, I'm going right. to just use the word stress instead of my diet's trash. Mm-hmm. I need to make some changes. I don't sleep well. Go. There you go. Right. All I, I wake up too late. And so I'm always late for everything. I don't plan for things. I do things last minute. So it's like all these things that now makes it so that we're take, have to, having to take responsibility. Oh, no, thank you. That's why we don't want to be adults. Responsibility for those things that we're doing that create this life that's taking place that is not in my adulting vocabulary okay i don't want it and also (laughs) taking responsibility don't mean just taking care of your normal everyday daily bills or daily responsibilities it's your actions it's your behavior (laughs) it sounds like stress it's your commitment all of that commitments your agreements that you're making with people yes when you hey, say you're going to do something. Hey, what's up, champ? Sorry. Hey, Tyreek. Hey. Hey, hey. How you be stressing, Tyreek? You be stressing. Don't be stressing. <laughs> when you say you're going to do something, do it. Or Listen. if you don't want to do it, don't do it either. You have the right to change your mind. But understand, depending on who you made that commitment, man, they may call you out on that. But like, wait a minute. I remember when you said X, Y, and Z. And now all of a sudden, you stressed mm-hmm. because you had a heated debate with your friend and you stressed out. No, she just called you out on what you said. That's all. Y'all are the ones to know. I hate to be obligated to do (laughs) anything. Oh, don't tell me I got to. What? So I got to? What? What? I I, I didn't sign up for that. (laughs) I'm the queen of not showing up for something I did not sign up for. I I didn't sign up for that. Mm -mm. We just did that this morning. I was like, okay, 100 uh, companies and emails for. uh, we're working on and she's like um yeah i don't know if that's a hundred is gonna be uh possible now the funny part is you know when when people say that you probably may even still get the hundred out of them you hell you might even get 200 up out of them but don't make them stick to that 100 because they're like oh no i don't Mm. That's that sounds stressful. That's what that sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> the thought of that was stressing me out, right? <laughs> yeah, but like right. to be able to recognize that, like, I don't need to add that on to my palate. I mean, I'm gonna do something, but so I think it's it, you know, one thing that we learn it's not what you say, it's how you say it, right? So and, and soon she said she literally said, Well, no, 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 we're gonna keep that as a goal, but whatever you bring, you bring. But you know, I, I'm not going to bring peons. She knows this. But at the same time, it's like, I'm one of those people. I don't like to be boxed in. There's no box you could put me in. Like, so it's about verbiage. This is, once again, with not just emotional vocabulary, but just 
plain verbiage. <laughs> what what works for you and learn how to commit. She loves me enough to learn how to my my love language, which is communication, to communicate with me on my level of understanding. And so it always goes back to communication, I find in every relationship, in every situation, in everything. It's almost like we, we could just stop talking about self-care and just start talking about communication that with really yourself is. and with other people. How are you mm -hmm. uh, communicating with yourself? How are you communicating with other people? How are you, how are your agreements working Look. out for you? <laughs> right. and you don't want to know how I communicate with myself. Communication. Say that again, Stephanie, my bad, because I was talking. Sorry. No. <laughs> Who is communicating? No, actively listening is also a part of communication and understanding. And it's okay to continuously ask to ask questions on whether the person understood you or not. Mm. So you have to at least communicate with the person that you understood what it is that you say that they said, and be okay that you don't understand. Not everybody knows everything, but if you don't ask questions, you're not gonna know shit. At all. That's a big one. I, I, I met somebody the other, say, other day say, I over-communicate. Do you? Because you said it loud, proud, doesn't mean I understood it. So it wasn't communicated properly to me. Communication is understanding how to communicate on whoever you're speaking to level of understanding. It's an agreement. It's an agreement. So communication will definitely stress you out, clearly, as you see. <laughs> <laughs> because people don't know how to communicate, even though people think that they do. It's you're talking, they're talking, and it doesn't mean that people are listening. So that exchange of uh, information isn't taking place. And mm -hmm. then even if the exchange does take place, then you have to agree that either I'm with it or I'm not with it. And it's okay, whichever one it is, but you then make the agreement. Now, the then issue is when people agree that they will do whatever they agree to that information. And a couple things could happen. You could learn some more information that then tells you A, that no, I can no longer show up for that or B, I did agree and I lied and I'm still going to go do something else. <laughs> I changed my mind. Because guess what? We women and we change our mind every day, all day. I changed my but mind. But when you agree to doing something and you don't show up for it, understand that comes back to you. It may not come to you immediately, but it will come to you in a different form in which you may not even understand. You'd be like, Lord, why is this happening to me? I'm a I'm good, person. A good person. I'm a good person. I don't ever do nothing wrong. Yes, you do. Yes, it, it messes do with the integrity of your word because now I don't believe you. Like mm -hmm. when the integrity right. of your word is no longer valid, I don't know how I, you can get, I mean, I'm cordial. Hey. Right, <laughs> right. But you have broken lines of communication because uh, half of the time, like you said, this could have all been resolved if you would have communicated. Shoot me a text. And can tell me and say, hey, look, I'm not, I, I know that agreement that we made. Yeah, I'm I'm not in agreement with that anymore. So you know what? Sorry. That's just like right. that. And then they have an attitude when you be like, Well, I thought you said you was coming. Well, I'm busy and I'm stressed out with my other stuff that's going on. All that kind of like, wait a minute. I just said if you was coming to lunch, if you don't want to show up, that's fine. I mean, it was on me anyway, but it's cool. You see how yeah. just and, and and the key words you just said, now they stressed out, but they created so that's the thing <laughs> yes. about this big word called stress or the big mm -hmm. word of anxiety. You just created this situation by not just coming forward and telling somebody, hey, you know, I know I said A, B, and C, but you know what? I decided, you know, E, F, and G. And so, yeah, I know you're going to be mad about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to have to hear your mouth about it. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? I would rather you be mad at me because I disappointed you and you know that I disappointed you. And I know that I disappointed you as opposed to you coming back and being mad at me or not talking to me because we didn't communicate at all. Right. But what about the ones that you not only to be mad about the situation, but they are, they feel some kind of way because they know they played oh, you. Yeah. And it, you're like, Girl. I'm mad. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like, it's not even that serious. It's not that serious. It's not that big of a deal. Either you can do it or you can't. But when those people come up and they have, they feel some type of way, they all in their feelings. Now that you're working yourself up and creating something out of it's nothing. nothing. And it's not that, oh, and wait, they stop talking to you. 
Oh. <laughs> but, oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I mean, it's cool. I know you feel some way I, weeks later now. They, here come the text message. I know you feel some way. And it's like, no, I don't even know what happened. I forgot. <laughs> you know, somebody at what, the job. What was I supposed to be feeling? <laughs> Look, I forgot the feeling. What is it supposed to feel like? But now they're trying to throw it off on you and make you accept the responsibility of their lack. Mm. Right. And now you're trying to stress you out. So it's the yeah. interesting thing. So it's energy. All of it is energy. So if I'm feeling a certain type of way, I want to get that off of me and I want to give it to you. It's almost like uh, when you think about the games that men and women play with each other, especially that power, who's going to have mm. the power. And then, you know, if the man has the power, the woman's trying to figure out how to get the power from him. And then now it's in the ball is in her court. And now he's like, Oh my gosh, she got the power. Now I got to figure out how to get the power back. And so people are going back and forth with this, energy exchange if anything even you know stress if, if i'm feeling stressed i want to throw it to you now and give it to you i want it off of me and i want to mm -hmm. hand you the ball so then if you accept it unknowingly of what's going on and then you like wait a minute why am i all stressed out what's what's happening oh my god and then that other person like mm -hmm, yep i'm feeling lovely now but they just mm -hmm. gave me their stuff let me just tell you two things that popped in my head and I was sitting there really laughing at myself like you wilding. Impulse control is one, right? But when you talk about power in my head, I started saying, I got the power. <laughs> right? So that was the first thing that popped up. And then you talked about giving them the energy. And in my head, McKinbay Batobo popped up like blocking the shot. No, 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 not in my house. <laughs> I'm childish. Sorry, guys, but that's you have to, But you have to. You have to block those shots. You so look. I have mm. this bracelet on that has a, a heart on it. So it's not a, a Wonder Woman bracelet per se. But you know, I'm like pew pew, gonna protect <laughs> my heart space. <laughs> so not the pew pew. <laughs> you got to. That's, as you yeah. said, people will throw it off on you, and sometimes they don't even know that they're throwing it off because it is a learned behavior and they've seen it been done so many times that they don't even recognize that they're doing that until they come across somebody who's like pew pew oh, ma'am like what I'm what saying. you trying to get you uh, I mean, like, you know, hold on wait a minute you know and they was like what you doing playing basketball yeah I'm about to dunk what you doing like what's, what's going on what's, what are you doing you trying to block my layup or something and Definitely. they don't understand it. So now you have to break this down to them because they will take it offensively at first because it's like, I'm not trying to do that. I don't mean to do this. I just want to let you know. And it's like, I understand that. And it, it's going to take some time because that learned behavior has to be unlearned. And that takes some time to do, to unlearn a behavior or a, a terrible trait that's constantly in, embedded in you and even embedded in your family. That's going to take some time to unlearn. Because it didn't take, take it took time to learn it. <laughs> like, so, right. Yeah. It, it's going to take the same amount of time, maybe even more, depending on the person or shorter time to unlearn that. But you become open to that and understanding that I didn't know that I did this with people. I didn't know I made people feel mm -hmm. like this. Now you become better and now you're learning something about yourself you didn't know. So now you can be proactive in your choices rather than reactive and create a stressful environment or situation for yourself that you didn't even know you were doing anyway. Man, you want to know something that's so funny to me as you were speaking, I thought about my, like, how do I stop it? The, I don't pick it up. For, and and y'all probably have heard me say this. Sorry, guys. No, sorry, not sorry. Friends, whoever gets to watch this, if you heard me say, what? That's crazy. That's me <laughs> pew pewing. <laughs> Not picking it up. That's crazy. Not no. picking it up. <laughs> I was telling Ciara, I said, what are my lines? I used to tell people when they'd be like, oh my God, I'm going through this. But it's the same, the same story, same song and dance. I'd be like, well, you know what? When you get tired, you know what to do. And that, that is my line. When you get tired, you know what to do. And they'll sit up and tell me, I'm just tired of going through this. Oh, well, you know what? When you get tired, you know what to do. <laughs> That's my pure pure. Like, I... Because I don't want to deal with that. That's I don't want to deal with that. And that's I don't know crazy. Look, that's crazy. So mine is you got 
two more times to tell me this till you can't tell me no more. <laughs> three strikes and you out. Like, I'm only going to listen to this three times. Three times. <laughs> and after that, so the first time I'm listening, but just as a general listen, uh-huh, yeah. The second time, <laughs> the second time <laughs> is, okay, well, you know, let's, what are you doing about this? Because, you know, this is the second time you're going through this or whatever is happening. So what, what, what moves are you making? What plans? What's going on? The third time is, so you know, this is your third time. I don't want to hear this BS no more, right? Oh, okay, so. You're choosing this. This your show. <laughs> if you call me yeah. again and you telling me about this, we can talk about anything else under the sun. But if you call me with this, I'm just going to hang up, okay? Because mm-hmm. I told you. <laughs> I don't want to hear it because that's me protecting my boundaries Mm. from you and your stuff. Cause because people will try to stress you out with their stuff and they, Mm. it's like, let's create a stress party. I don't want to be a part of your stress party because Mm. I practice peace over here. So, Mm -hmm. and if, and, and if I go into stress mode, it becomes a problem for everybody. (laughs) <laughs> everybody everybody gonna feel it because i'm 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 like everybody gonna is, is, is gonna have it, have it you know i was thinking i was talking to someone the other day and they were telling me uh something uh they were doing this like cleansing diet something or another and the person that they're doing it with has a lot going on in their space they're they're moving, they're traveling a lot. They don't really have time to do the program with them as they normally do. And so I asked the person, I said, well, how does that make you feel? Because immediately when she's telling me this, I started feeling stressed out because if you were my self-care person doing something to help me get myself together and your stuff is everywhere in the air, I'm going to feel that stress. I said, so how are you, how are you feeling about this person that's supposed to be taking care of you and helping you with improving your wellness? How is that helping? I mean, how, how is that working? And, and she said, I, I feel kind of stressed out because I feel like I'm not a priority and I feel like I'm not being taken care of, even though I'm paying for this service. Mm. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> Dips, Look, sips coffee, not tea. <laughs> Right. So, you know, I was like, you know, as a, uh, a self-care uh, practitioner for other people, um, I, I myself realize I always have to be in the highest state of peace so that I can make the person that I'm working with also feel comfortable. And when I'm listening to your story, she, as your self-care practitioner, is not helping you feel at peace. So now your journey is going to be stressful mm. more so than it would have been. And she's like, yeah, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. as, as people that are uh, the wellness providers for people, we have to be conscious to make sure that our personal lives is under control or in a peaceful state. Of course, you know, we're going to still have days where we whatever, but we have to somehow minimize our own personal stuff so that we can be a better, a better service to those that are, are coming to us for support and help, especially if there's that energy exchange of money. Mm-hmm. oh yeah let me let me ask this to get in bed. first of all anybody talking to us hey y'all we forgot hey y'all let me Sorry, see you ain't tell me if you were stressed or not um <laughs> I'm, I'm blessed i'm blessed uh, god is amazing oh and hallelujah have a great weekend champs god bless your grind keep doing the good work it's rewarding yeah thank you come on he about to make me shout thank you look i see you doing a full work you see uh, y'all see in the chair doing a full work (laughs) (laughs) oh definitely blessed not stress i like that but i want to get back on topic of the stress i want to know how do you each of you and people in the audience um, how do you identify your stress? How do you know what triggers your stress? 
So I'm going to, uh, I'll go, because I, I literally just had a very stressful moment the other day, man, and what nobody around for me to talk to, so half us. So anyway. <laughs> Girl, but I, I never, that's crazy. So yes, what did she tell you? Because I was like, oh, I'm so glad I missed the flames. Oh, look at him work. Look, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, um. It started out, so this is the thing about, you know, getting to the root cause of the stress because it started Tuesday evening where I received an email um, from uh, your student loan place or whatever. I was trying to consolidate uh, my student loans to um, a governmental public service mm -hmm. entity, whatever that um for if you work for a, a 501c3 or a government entity um for 10 years and pay your student loans that they will uh write them off after the 10 years of successful payment so i actually applied for this last year but it didn't work whatever blah 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 long story so in any case i I got an email saying that the stuff had gone through. And so I was like, okay, I'll look at it tomorrow. So I look at it the next day and I realized that all my payments did not seem to go through. And based off of what I was looking at would be an extended amount of time that I would need to be um, in the public service sector in order for my stuff to be um, qualifying under the 10 years. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, that's messing with my plan because I have a plan. Uh, for things in my life and so I'm not going to reveal my entire plan to y'all no and not to you two but the people out there now I ain't telling y'all all my we people. already know no <laughs> so, it was affecting my my plan but originally I was like upset about the information from the loan mm -hmm. so I'm like stomping around like oh my god they didn't and you know I had to sit down because then my first thing is when I'm starting to act out and get out of my peaceful state, I'm like, is there a full moon outside? Because <laughs> this isn't normal for me. Like I really am real good at keeping myself real mellow. So I'm like, like, I'm like looking outside. I'm like, what? what's going on out there? <laughs> and I'm like, well, it's not a full moon today, but I did tell everybody it's airy season. So I'm a little more um, spicy spicy than I normally am because I am literally in my moment so if I cuss you out you know it's not personal I probably didn't really mean to do it but hey you got it whatever so and I'm not even gonna be mad or sad about it you so what that like literally that's how I'm rolling this to the 21st of April so <laughs> the bulls coming in the bulls come coming. through mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. I had to realize that I wasn't mad about the circumstance I was actually mad about the plan but then I said to myself are you really mad about the plan because who put the plan together me <laughs> who can change the plan me so I was like Oh, damn. So basically, I need to blow up this plan because this plan ain't working. And I sat there and was like, because oh. y'all know I like to plan stuff, right? Y'all know I'm yes. a planner. Yes. And I like for it to stay on track. Y'all don't even understand how serious she is right now. On <laughs> track. This is the plan. This is how it's working. This is what we're doing. And I was like, so this is not what we're doing? Okay. I want to hop in there and say, understand how our personalities work because she is the planner, me and Stephanie, to go with the flow type of people. She planned, we show Very up much. like, okay, what are we supposed to be doing? <laughs> That's how it works. All right. You you got to gotta understand your personality. We need people. You, you should get the yin to your yang because I know I'm, mm -hmm. I mean, I plan stuff when I have to. But I'm the show up type yeah. of friend. We can do whatever. We, we going skydiving? Okay, cool. We doing that? Oh, no, I'm not jumping in no uh, no water, but I'll take your picture while you do it. Like, I'm that friend. So you get, definitely have to know that. And the way that she was able to identify why she was stressed out is 
understanding your one I thought we talked about that understanding your why right yeah it was and it was me it was because of my own stuff it was because I had put something together and I didn't want it to break apart and Mm -hmm. so but having to be okay with so after a couple days I was like all right you know what and I didn't even create a new plan I'll tell y'all that I just said you know what universe you know everything I want to do. I ain't got time to be keep playing games with you. I'm not even going to put another plan together. You know <laughs> what I want in my life. And I'm happen. just going to keep working until you figure out how it's going to work. Because you're not going to stress me out again. <laughs> so look here. She calls it. She says all this. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so glad I missed all them planes. Won't he do it? <laughs> and she was like, it was, I don't know if it's a full moon. I was like, no, actually, it's a pink super moon. So just put that <laughs> out there. You're going to be a <laughs> So we it's do some pink research super on it. <laughs> so we did some re- research on it and find out that this particular moon that's coming up highly affects Aries, Cancers, and Libras. Mm. Yeah. I'm on an emotion. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and I, was I like, don't yes, do I emotions, you know. and I was like, <laughs> "I'm dead." <laughs> this be, Girl, but, I'm, but I'm, I'm feeling, feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yep, I caught that alley real quick. Thank you, please, and thank you. <laughs> yes. All right. So how so, I identify mine? Um. I know myself and how I react or act to certain situations. So um, as an example, when I got my mentor for the first time, who's a federal judge, um, I didn't know how to approach him. And I didn't, I'm, it's not like I haven't had mentors before, but having a federal judge as a mentor who's still an acting judge, that's a different type of pressure right there. Mm -hmm. Um, so I didn't know how to approach him. So I'm thinking to myself, how do I keep the communication going? How do I stay in contact with him? How do I, like, I don't have a lot of questions on standby, you know, that I'm ready to submit to him and how often do I do this? And so I had to just calm myself down and think, um, what is it that I want out of this situation and how often do I want to contact him? And so, um, after collaborating with, you know, Ciara and a few others, I needed to figure out that I need to stay in contact with him weekly because I want the information and I want the knowledge. And so I remember sending off the first email to him asking about something that was, I'm sure he know a yes or no answer to, but he took the time to actually explain it to me. And as I send him questions every week now, because, you know, that's what I'm going to be doing because that's what it is. Um, I've come to, I've come to realize that I send him questions and I'm calmer about asking him things. And the questions that I'm asking him, I mean, they make sense, of course. But in the beginning, it felt a bit robotic because I'm in law school. What more can I ask a judge about law who knows everything? And my focus in law school has nothing to do with what he deals with in the courthouse. Mm -hmm. So that was another barrier I had to get over. And so in the process of sending him emails and communicating with him, even meeting with him face to face and having conversations, I had to really stop and take a deep breath and realize why I'm here and what I'm doing. And also not to overthink this. He is a person after all. He might be a super person, but he's a person still, nonetheless. And you are a super people. You're a super person. Hello. Right. I just, you know, I, and I say that to people, you know, you a lion. When you walk into the lion's den, you a lion too. Rawr. What you mean? No, so, Rawr. Uh, <laughs> yes, Rawr. But in this moment, it was like, I, I'm not walking into a lion's den. I walk into the League of Super Friends and I got a League of Super Friends, but it's not the same. But in the Legion of Doom, we know. I know them. I know, right. like, I know your <laughs> Super Friends. <laughs> <laughs> The point that I'm making is is that I had to really like pace myself in my thinking and understand what it is that I'm trying to get out of the situation and not be afraid to ask a quote unquote dumb question, even though there's no such thing as a dumb question, depending on who you ask. Um, And just ask these questions. (laughs) Because if you ask me, I might be like, that's dumb. 
Yeah. Ask these questions and really utilize the relationship that I had. So I had to look at myself in the mirror and understand my behavior patterns and also equate that to something else that's happened in my past that in a different area that had the same amount of pressure and how did I get through that? So that's what I do to identify my stress. I compare and contrast the different things that's happened in my life and how I got through it. And if it worked, then I can apply similar strategies because, you know, everybody's different throughout their life, but similar strategies to the same way here um, with communicating with my judge. So that is how I identify my stress. Thank you. I just want to pop in before Cicely gets on hers, uh, Pat says I'm gonna go with the flow. Hey Pat, I'm gonna go with the flow um, with people too. She goes with the flow. And she told us in the beginning, hi beautiful women. Look, hi. <laughs> no. Battery gets you hi, wait, hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> that is funny. Um okay, my stress. How do I So anybody who know me, I'm so nonchalant about so many things. Um, It it take, it it really has to be something like something I really care about to stress me out because it's not a lot that I, so that's, so I laugh when you talked about like, what kind of questions do I ask? I'm like, I don't care. (laughs) Like, I mean, when I have a question, I'm gonna hit you up, but I don't care. I don't, I'm not the general. Don't, I don't like to, I'm not a fluffer. Right. So, um, what I do when things that stress me out, usually they have really nothing to do with me. It's always because somebody else did something, right? Mm. Um, so just like, let's just say um, my child. My child do something, it stress me out because I feel like I should have control. But then I have to remember, he's his own person. And I don't have control of him, right? So um, those are the things that have to do, like put myself in those positions. Like, is there one, is there something that can be done about it? Two, do, are you in control of that something that could be done about it? Because if so, then shut up and start working the plan. If not, let it go because it's beyond you. I love that because I always say, how much influence do I have over something? What's exactly. my level yeah. of influence? Yeah, so, it, but to many people outside, it just be like, like she don't care about nothing. <laughs> but, I mean, I do, but not enough to get my blood pressure high about it. Like, not enough to, like, yeah. get... So, yeah, I'm... Um, yeah. I'm working on it. But then another thing that probably stressed out, because like you said, with the call, so I got a call from the dean of our my campus and she wants to interview me. And I was like, me? Do you know who I am? <laughs> Lady, I'm bound to say anything to you. I don't know, <laughs> right? right? But I realized like most, when I was talking to a couple of my peers about it, they like, oh my God, stress. And I'm just like, I'm not going to stress because I can't give her nobody else but me. She just don't know what type. She should be stressed out as we <laughs> should be stressed out because ain't no telling what's going to happen. Right. Right? right. So I think that comes with just the level of getting to know me and understanding that every space I literally plan before I walk into spaces, like what's my purpose here? You know, what, what, you know, I have a, a I'm in a room. I have some ears that I can get some things done. Right. So right. I had to reestablish my purpose. What do I want out of this situation? What, cause I'm, I'm here for a reason. And you know, when they start telling you, you know, your name in rooms that you don't even what they talking about? What's in that room, <laughs> right? So then when you get in that room, now it's like, what am I supposed to want in this room? Mm-hmm. So I think um, one of the things that just keeps my stress down is understanding my purpose in each space, right? Mm-hmm. What am I supposed to be doing here? Am I even supposed to be here? Because is this stressing me? Like, is this even my stuff? Because I don't think what, what's meant for me should be this stressful, right? So then I have to question my purpose. Like, I'm stressing. This ain't even got nothing to do with me. I'm out. Thank y'all. <laughs> God bless you. Good night. Right. <laughs> so I'm quick to bow out of someone. This ain't even my fight. Like, uh. so I right. think that's the thing. Just understanding, like going back to who you, what, what do you want out of this? What, why is this touching something that shouldn't be touched? I know growing up, I used to stress about financial things. Right. And my granddaddy hit me up one day. He's like, if it's about money, I bet not ever see a tear come out of your eye. That is not what we stress about. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Haven't cried about a dollar since and ain't had a problem. You know what I'm saying? So it was just that mind frame set, you know, of just, and and it was a learned behavior because I really saw my people in my family not stress about money the way others do. And so it was just like, oh, because he was like, 
you stress about stuff that's out of your control, like your health. Stress about that, right? Stress about people you love, things that you know. So he 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 switched my mind frame of what's allowed to stress me out. Like, are, are you dying? You, you ain't dying? Oh, okay. Yeah, so another day to do something else. Exactly. That's like sure. you, okay, if you're not dying, then I mean we can figure the rest out. So um, yeah, so I think just understanding who you are in that space and what it is you want. I know that comes with a lot of work, y'all. I ain't gonna sit here and act like right. I woke up yesterday. Right. Stuff is a lot of work. Right? Lot of work. Yeah, lot of work. I mean, I can I turned around something in a couple of days that was stressing me out and identified it and changed it in a couple of days. That's not that's not something you can just wake up and be like, I do this. No, you have, it's a lot of time and work mm. that has gone into getting to that point. Absolutely. And also your intentions. And so mm. when I talk about um, emailing my judge and conversating with him, I emailed him at 10 o'clock last night about a question. I wanted to know about pro bono work and blah, 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 because I had a litigation this week. My intention behind that email was I genuinely wanted to know his opinion before I make this choice, even though I'm still going to make the choice, but I want to know what he felt about it. What was his honest opinion? But the way that our communication is going and is going great that he intentionally communicates back with me and is completely honest. He don't hold back no punches. He is honest. And I appreciate that. So your intentions, if you are genuine about what it is that you want to do and why you want to do it, you'll be fine. It doesn't matter if the next person is going to get stressed out by your yes or no response. Your intentions was genuine and it's your intentions that actually manifest your outcome too. Mm. So be that's why laws are in place because it's intentional. It's an intent. Is everything is with intent. That, that That's why I believe it's definitely some spiritual stuff up in there because it's always the intent. I'm breaking down a case and a case brief. It's always with the intent. What is the intent behind the action being done? So your mm -hmm. intentions mean everything, whether people realize it or not. This is true. Very, very true. Yes. I believe, well, look, very good topic. We getting heavy in here. I'm going <laughs> to lift the spirits up because let me sit up, spark it up. I'm looking to see if we have any additional comments. We don't have any at this time. That's cool. Let me, that's cool. Oh, hey, How about... <laughs> Defining your purpose in the stress and the process of the stress is happening. What is your purpose there? Mm. Because there is a lesson to be yeah, learned in every situation. So like with mine, I needed right. to blow up that, that plan and also maybe blow up because again, not only did I blow up the plan, I did not create another one. Mm. I just, you know what? And that would normally stress you out because you are- Stress <laughs> me the hell out. <laughs> To not have a plan stresses her out. I mean, I always really have a plan. I wake up with a plan. Okay, this is what we're going to do today. Check, she does. Okay. You really now, do. Now we do she that. Really do. And then at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, we did that. We got that done. We got that done. Oh, we, you know, we didn't do that, but that's okay. You know, she plans during shopping. Done. Right. I got she a knew. list. I have a she list. Knew. I'm like, check that, that, got that. And the thing is, it's that's a great place because I aspire to have that type of planning skills, right? Uh -huh. But I also yeah. understand the flip my eye jump. Sorry, y'all. So I wasn't winking at nobody. Um <laughs> <laughs> but the right. <laughs> but the 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 planning part, I think it could cause anxiety because like you said, if it doesn't go to plan, you freak out, right? I think the not freedom all the time. this not all the time. The one I did because right. I was very attached. Mm -hmm. to this particular plan and that's where I went wrong mm -hmm. I, I realized that's where whatever shook me up mm -hmm. was because I was attached to mm -hmm. it and I really work on non-attachment um I learned mm -hmm. that a time ago with some information that I had learned and read about is going to a space of just being non-attached so I'm really non-attached most of the time but not with this particular plan, like all the way committed. This is what I'm doing. Somebody asked me, well, CR, what about what if mm, four years, <laughs> four years, <laughs> four, four, stop talking to me. This so, so you, I know exactly what you're saying. Remember when my school closed, I'm like, wait, that was my plan. What do you mean? I'll handle it. It wasn't no plan B. This was it. 
And mm -hmm. so I definitely get it. But just in that time, literally, while everybody else was going nuts, they like, what you going to do? I don't know, but this is out of my control. It's nothing I did wrong made this happen, right? right. So I live in, and people were literally looking at me like I was crazy. I'm like, what is this stress going to do for me? <laughs> I'm looking at it like, home, oh, bro, it's a vacation. I don't have to do nothing. Right. Let me get Because whatever next is coming, I know this is me getting the reprieve because this next leg of this journey about to be crazy. Right. Right. I knew that and I found peace in that because I was like, it was nothing I did wrong. I stuck to the plan. And, and so that's what, I had to, that's what I had to turn around in my two days. So that was yeah. that was me working through my stuff because we all got right. stuff. So I always, you know, even though on one area I may be light years ahead of somebody, in another area, somebody's you know, light years ahead mm -hmm. of me. But uh -huh. That's the part of we are all still students in this journey. Right. Um, mm. and, and the thing is, how quickly can you turn, turn it around. around? So that was me having to undo some of my mind space attachment things. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. you know what? Thinking about <laughs> going back to school, I was thinking the whole time, like, I actually had an opportunity to go back to school. Like, I'm really doing this. So when everything is, is when everything happened, I was just like, I'm just grateful that I somebody pushed me to go back to school because this is what I've been trying to do for so long. So this was actually a great opportunity. So I found my purpose throughout the whole thing. And it was just like, I'm, I'm grateful because I was thinking about how am I going to do this? I don't know how I'm going to do this. I have to go to this school. I already got done with that. I'm tired. I hate school. I hate people. I hate everybody <laughs> I right now. I'm just like, the whole situation already, right? But it's like, no, I'm, I actually did it. I went through the steps. I went through my classes. And now I'm, I'm here. I'm grateful. And I was able to go forward and still get my degree in a less amount of time than what was already predicted for me. So finding your purpose in what the situation is happening really helps you. And then talking mm -hmm. about attachments, I think people are really attached to the outcome of a situation, regardless yeah. if yeah. they are going to benefit from it or not, because mm -hmm. they want to see something done their way. And it just doesn't work that way. <laughs> Whatever is going to happen, it's going to happen. It does not work that way. You do it, not it doesn't work. It's too many want. variables. It's too many it's variables. Too many. And, and then when you, the more people you get involved in a situation, the more feelings and emotions and thoughts and opinions and all this Look. extra stuff. And that situation is not going to go the way that you want it to go. It's going to go the way it's supposed to go based on the intention set in the beginning. And then everybody else coming in with their own intention. So you don't know how it's going to turn out. And you no, have to be ready to and aware to see that yes. what you ask for is actually happening. Because again, right. if you're attached to one specific mm -hmm. outcome, you're mm -hmm. going to miss that you got the opportunity. That part. Right. I think right. that's so important to understand. Like you said, like all, all of the, what both of y'all said is just understanding that your the intentions of it and that Everything don't always go the way you plan. But as you think about it, that's a lot of people issue because it didn't look like how I wanted it to go. You put it out there in the universe. It's doing its work. It's collecting stuff. It's collecting. And it come back to you and you're like, uh-uh, that's not the way I asked for it to be packaged. Uh-uh, it, it's all dirty and you got to miss your beat because it didn't come the way you wanted it to come or how you how you planned on it to come. And so understanding that, like you said, if you're putting it out there with the right intentions and putting the work in to make it happen, it's going to come. Yeah. Like what, what they say, God come when you want him, not when, when you know, he always on time, but not when, when you want, you want Right, right. right. So, I, I, goodness, girl, I can say a situation it's similar to that. I was telling Ciara about something that I was going through. And I was like, you know what, this is that moment where I feel like, you know, God doesn't show up when he wants to, but he always on time. Like I felt that in that moment, that's what it was. And I was like, well, you know, at the same time, he could have like sent me a text message. It's like the nerve, the nerve of us. Traffic, still, but problem. you still could have, but it's always, always a but. But you know, I mean, you still let me know you're in traffic, you know, 
little bit of common courtesy. You know, people got phones or whatever. It's a common courtesy. <laughs> I said, if you trust me, you trust they know, me. You know, the universe know who he's dealing with. They know who I am. If you trust me, you tr- have your <laughs> and the universe said back to you, I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> but, and, and, you know, no. it's right. Uh, it's that trust the process. I'm going to show you I'm going to do what I want to do. Watch this. And I'll be like, see, look at that right there. Right. I there. hate That's that statement. Trust the process. I'd be like, no, right. because this process is going to send me down the toilet, flush me around. I'm, I got claustrophobia. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Listen. See. And I'm and I'm learning Please. more and more because um, I'm locking now, mm. and um, I'm becoming a lock stalker. So I'm like on every lock something, just looking at people's locks and looking at um, right. Because I tell her all the time, I'm not a stalker, but I'm I'm not for people I know. I'm stalking for like a hairdo. It's not a person, and so. <laughs> Um, you know, when I'm looking at people's hair where they're at their like, like six year lock versus when they started and Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks totally different and on everything, I swear to God, it's always, you know, you got to trust the process. I say, if I hear that, trust the process one more time, Mm -hmm. but that's what it is. And so for me now I'm using my hair as part of the journey of me not planning Mm -hmm. what is going to be because I have to trust the process with my hair mm -mm. so I also Mm -mm. have to trust the process (laughs) of life I just have to trust I'm gonna trust the process that this wig gonna work I'm gonna trust (laughs) the process that I can twist it something I can't I can't trust listen you and, and, and you know all hair is good hair yeah. But I swear that Kuta Kente was like, yeah, I'm going to put a dab of that in there. Okay. Make, sprinkle a little okay. bit of that in there. Okay. So my hair okay. does not, I, I can't trust that process with it. I got to do some other thing. We got to we work together. Well, my hair does what it wants to do, uh, contrary to what people, like my hair, I, I do what my hair tells me to do in the morning time. I, I wake up in the morning time, I'm like, oh, I want to do my hair like, and my hair be like, I ain't doing it. I swear <laughs> to God, it'd be like, I, that's not what I'm doing. Okay, Listen. well, what you want me to do with you? <laughs> force come on break <laughs> listen we you don't get to say what you say your hair don't have rights <laughs> no rights at all whatever i say y'all gotta do because listen yeah no baby that's not the one but like, that's not the one for me but i i trust your i trust your process for you but yeah. Stephanie exactly. was something exactly i love that one yeah Stephanie, it was something you said earlier about the degrees and i was listening to a home girl the other day and she a doctor and things and she said these i got these degrees these degrees don't tell me what to do i tell these degrees what to do i was oh, like okay oh. okay so i was so with that because i'm like I, got, I do every that's what said, that you heard us say y'all lifetime students yes i've been in school for forever and yes i hated school and yes right i'm like i can't tell because y'all y'all know yeah i'm telling y'all i'm not a school person and guess what <laughs> i stopped after a four-year degree but yes yeah, she the one that's always i took this class because but i uh, do say i'm a lifetime learner <laughs> that's different <laughs> see that? you see like you see that it's, it, just because it's not in the 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 what do you call yeah, I it? I don't do I don't do structured formal yeah. uh, education, but yes, I but I am always, always in the class. Taking a class. That's a yeah. Look, why she got bust me out like that? Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> but school will stress you out because it's not your plan. You got to follow somebody else's plan. Then I have to remember I got to yeah. do what I got to do so I can do what I want to do. And before yeah. I even go in there mm-hmm. and stress out about it, I'm like, I signed up for this. I'm literally paying my money to do. Why would you be stressed out about something right. you signed up for and you paying That's your money? That, you volunteered right. for that, right? And you I don't go there. There. when I go into school and dealing with everything there, I, there's no such thing as a no. I, I want <laughs> everything I came here for and then some. And y'all finna work on time. So go ahead. I'm coming to all the meetings. Hey, front row and all. How y'all doing? Here I go. And I got questions. So there is no such thing as a no. And yes, and I, that degree does work for me. So. Look, I link up with people like her who, who show up. Because I mean, what they say? <laughs> I'm not showing up to this shit. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girl, I wrote it down and took pictures. 
y'all did wrote it down. Okay, I'm not going to thank you for nothing. And I'm going to be like, can I just get a grade? And Hello. Because I, I am wrong. Just give me my grade. Because it's something I want to yeah. do after this. Right. <laughs> this. I'm over here. As a matter of fact, I'm doing something else right now. I just need, you know, this, this paper. Can Participation you? points. <laughs> That's it. Look, yeah, that, that money, we talked yeah, about my mama said it. earlier because my mama said I had to get it. That was why I'm here. It's like, it's not my, it wasn't even my own intention. It was somebody <laughs> else's intention I'm rolling on. I, I enrolled somebody else's intention. It's some power in that my mama said. It's yeah. power right there. It, it is, is true. Because it's, it's law. What you mean? Yeah. <laughs> right. So, that was on somebody else's intention, dime, not on mine. That is so funny. Not on mine. Yeah. Well, we have uh, five more minutes before we are out of here. Boom, boom. So, so we look. So, <laughs> you want to talk about the e box? What you want to talk about with? What? Right. So this has been, as always, a really great conversation. I always hope people get something out of it. Um, this is just kind of a preview of the things that we could actually support you with in real life. Mm -hmm. So 15 minute free consultation, then moving on forward, getting some uh, coaching from us, 30 minute, one hour, you know, you, you decide what it is you want to put a plan together or not. You can do a la carte or you can mm -hmm. have a plan, whichever one fits your personal lifestyle and yes we have the subscription boxes every month um right. somebody asked me the other day about that do you have to have paypal in order to subscribe to it and no you don't have to have paypal and no you don't have to have a paypal account because at the bottom it allows you to pay with a debit or a credit card. So just look down at the bottom. It's, it's kind of grayed out. And I know our minds are conditioned. If it's bold, that's something we click on. And if it's grayed out, we don't click on it. But it's it's there. It's just, it's, it's not as bold because, of course, PayPal wants you to get a PayPal account. Mm -hmm. But you can just pay with a credit card, debit card. Um, what, what else do we have? We have coaching, self-care boxes next month what are we doing next month next Ooh. month well mm -hmm. it's may and although we're not all the way there yet but the moves come through but but right but those tourists is coming they coming so we might as well start yeah, yeah. opening up the gate because we don't yeah. want them to just trample people we will they're gonna come through anyway you know it. <laughs> but we are going to start opening up the doors for people to get a scholarship mm -hmm. full pay scholarship for the self-care coaching so we're going to select nine women so we haven't um put that information out there um on our social media yet but know that it's coming so if you also, you know, want to wait to apply for the scholarship, you can do that as well to get free coaching. It's six weeks mm -hmm. free coaching if you're accepted with the scholarship. So start looking out for that in May. So we're putting all that together now and we will be reaching out to different organizations. So if you're listening to this now and you want, us to send the information to your organization, please let us know because we really want to engage with other organizations so that they can push this information through to their people. But individuals also can, you know, still come and apply. So please Absolutely. Do. Look, be intentional about be intentional yes. about yes. your well-being. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, yes. I want to throw out real quick with the questions that we post every day and our topics that we discuss every week. If you guys want to comment on our posts to answer those questions, even before we get to Saturday, please do so. Cause we want to also know what it is that you think about the questions or what's your perspective on things. And maybe you can't make the lives and that's fine, but at least you can comment and share with your friends and family. Cause you know, they need some help too. So we here. Absolutely. One minute left. Cootie free kisses. Join us next week and every other week after that. And like she said, slide in our DMs. Namaste out of our way. 
because we bull, look, these bulls bulling through. I will lead the pack <laughs> with this one. So also uh, the second uh, Saturday will be first well, Saturday. Yes. Because the yes. second Saturday is a real birthday. You know? It's a holiday. It's called Sisley's birthday. So she like, yeah. you know, I yeah. may be able to make it. I may not be able to make it. And if I do make it, I don't know what state of being I'm being in. You know? <laughs> hey, it's and it's still a real holiday too. The next day is Mother's Day and I'm a mother too. It's so I it's, it's all about me. Day. You know? But we at the 12 o'clock mile. Um, my, Mark. Mark, we love you. Namaste. Cootie free kisses. Peace out.